News Talk 760 WJR. Online, the great voice of the Great Lakes, when you want it. The Frank Beckman Show. And those of you who know me or have been listening to me for any length of time know that I'm a big fan of muscle cars. I love big engines, and I like to go fast. And I'm looking at the statistics on a car that's on display here. It's a V8, 400 horsepower, 500 foot-pounds of torque. It runs on E85 F ethanol fuel made entirely in the United States of America. And get this, it gets 110 miles to the gallon with 400 horsepower. I don't get that, so I want to talk to the guy who built it. Doug Palmier is with us, and Doug, thanks for joining us. How are you doing today? Good, just fine. Some yeah. pretty fantastic st- statistics. What, what am I not reading in here to this picture? Well, the first thing I'll say thanks for inviting me up here. Um, what we have is a, um, we call it HP2G. Um, we're in a Progressive Auto X Prize, which is a competition for 100 mile per gallon vehicles. Now, these, uh, your competition for 100 mile an hour vehicles, I want to get this straight. I think I understand it. This is not for concept cars, this is not for science projects in high school. This is for cars that people will want to buy now. If we come down and see it today, we'd want to buy it. Am I correct? That's correct. Okay. Uh, a typical type of car that uh, four passenger, air conditioning, cruise control, heater, you know, sound system. So um, I picked a uh, Mustang because obviously part of the competition is um, um, people vote on it. So uh, people can identify with that type of vehicle. Um, there is vehicles that, that look like little spaceships that they made aerodynamic and but who wants to drive a spaceship on interstate 94 I mean, <laughs> <Well>, come on <laughs> it depends on if you want to meet a semi or yeah, not right <laughs> but the mustang is a classic design i love the mustang i had two of them and would buy another one uh, except i'm just you know i'm, I'm not the, the mustang type anymore i, I guess i don't know but uh, this is, so it looks like a mustang Yes, but it, it does get four, or 110 miles to the gallon. Yep, and we drove it out to Seaman back this year, it, uh, in November. Um, we won the Green Zone Award there, and that was 4,300 mile trip, um, and we did average 110 miles per gallon on that trip. Now, I got to ask, how how did you do it? If you guys did this, why haven't all these guys done this? Well, I, I can't. I'm pointing I, at the rest I, yeah. of the auto show. <laughs> I, I can't speak for 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 them, but uh, I used to work for Ford, so um, I, and I understand automotive. I am was an ASE master in in automotive, uh, tech and heavy truck. Um, I do have a, a degree in electrical engineering, and uh, this car started, or this engine, I should say, started with my grandfather and father. So this is decades of of technology. But with the new electronics and how things work there, it's, it was easier to get all of this put together and uh, where we're at on mileage. Um, it's just like any other car. It, it's on demand of horsepower or you're asking for fuel economy. I mean that. So it's all by the, the throttle there and how you treat it. Okay, so it's a smart throttle. In other words, if you're going along easy, you're not pulling from all 400 horsepower. That's, but if you yep. floor it, well, then, then, then it's there. Yep. We, um, we ra- raced it at Milan for a quarter mile standings, and it went low 12s at almost 111 miles an hour with the stock tires on it. Stock tires? Yep. That's pretty incredible. Now... Folks, uh, if you're if you're disbelieving of this, you can question him on because uh, I don't know that much about what's under the hood of a car. You can give us a call eight hundred eight five nine zero nine five seven, and I'll get you right on the air. It, it looks like a Mustang. What's it sound like when you start it up? It sounds like a, a V eight. Sounds like a V eight. Yep. And it's got four hundred horsepower. Yep. Now Ford is talking about down here a car that they have, and I forget the brand that's on it. Maybe you can help me, uh, Paul. Uh, I just heard the description of it. It has the what they call a smart gas pedal, which shows you on a gauge when you are driving for economy and when you are driving for either speed or maneuverability or like when you're getting on to a, a throughway. So is that essentially the concept you've got? Um, I don't. I haven't seen well, their no, concept. I mean, I, but, just uh, from but, what I've told you. But when when you're 
when you're driving down the highway or light throttle, then you're you're in an economy mode. Okay, so, so. when you're out on the highway, so on this four thousand mile trip. Did you have any service problems with it? Is it? Uh, um, well, we got pulled over twice by Texas. One because they, they it was a suspicious-looking vehicle. <laughs> so, you know, um, they they, uh, they just want to know why a race car type was driving across the nation. And then um, I did have a uh, malfunction with the fuel pump. Okay, so it uses fuel pump technology. It's not an injected. I'm not talking about the technology so much as because we're in a, a race, and obviously I'm there to win. So the competitors are here. Okay, and they're probably listening, trying to find out what you're going to say. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. and, and then I don't know if you read all about the race, but it, there is a $10 million prize. So we're looking at taking that, that money as seed money to make our engine company. So you're going to, if you win, and by all, from what I've heard and, and the scuttlebutt around here is you're going to, and you're going to take that $10 million and not go out to Las Vegas and see how much you can win. You're going to set up an engine plant and use that as seed money and actually bring this thing to the consumer in, in the foreseeable future? Yeah, and we're starting to gear up for that already. I know we're going to be on, on a limited production at first, just like anything else. But that's what we're planning on doing. Okay, I need you to tell the audience when they come into the auto show, into the front doors of Cobo Hall, where they go to see this 110 mile per hour car. Um, it's mile per gallon. We're mile down. Gallon. We're downstairs uh, in front of the uh, electric car track. There's full size cars driving around downstairs. By the way. Okay. Over if you find the Michelin. You go downstairs to the other Michelin, and, and you'll see where we're at from there. Okay, so go downstairs in Kobo to the Michelin, look for the Michelin, and yep. you'll see it. That's correct. Okay, Doug, I, I wish you the best of luck. Doug Palmier, the name of the car is the... HP2G.com. The HP2G.com, and you can see it here. 110 miles per gallon, 400 horsepower on demand, and my hat's off to you. Thank I wish you. you the best of luck. I really do. Talking about what matters to you. Frank Beckman Middays. Catch it live on News Talk 760 WJR AM. And stay up to date online at WJR.com.